crazy. Yeah, like it's like happening. Anna's here, bitch. It's birthday time. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm gonna get with this gorgeous scallop. Fucking tissue paper, bitch. Just for you. Just it for you. smells so good. I don't think it's Versace, right? It's not Versace. It's Versace. 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 Ah! Oh my god. Oh shit, she got the little fucking <laughs> god thank you. Oh, I got so bougie in my skims. Literally. Oh, shit. I was like, I know she has to have some. Do I start an OnlyFans? <laughs> OnlyFans, me and my new skims. The vibes are wearing skims, fucking getting blitzed before brunch, <laughs> and just not making a fool out of ourselves, honestly. Like hi. Hi. Hi, bitch. Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll cut you out. He wants to be off the internet. He's gonna be like one of those soft launch boyfriends that never launched. Yeah! Aww. Oh, it's so dramatic. The sun is like gleaming at you right now. Oh, yes. And then this one gets chicken fried steak at dinner or a breakfast. Oklahoma <laughs> boy. I guess the verdict is jam is better. Neighborhood jam. I give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, I would say it's a solid second place. <laughs> He's Bobby Doby. He's a nice boy. Hey, there's a one nut. That was almost so bad. That was almost 100% of the time you've been here. Yeah, literally, how many times have you knocked over a damn coffee table in my house? She's not on. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm feeling very attractive right now. I got my skims bra on. It's giving under boob. It's very cute. Bitch, the blue. Ah! In the like real light. Look at the blue and the white. Hold on. No, it looks incredible. <laughs> She's giving Pam Anderson realness. <laughs> She's giving, I'm just casually um, divorcing my first husband. I'm a lawyer. I'm a millionaire. That type of vibe. It looks so good! No, 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 we look fucking insane. <gasps> and what sucks is, like, we're both hot, and we're both, like, giving a different vibe, but the same vibe, and it's like, no matter what type of It hot coordinates. Hot. Yeah! Yes. And we supplement each other's hotness, you know? Yeah. I'm feeling very nervous about my outfit. Let's see. I'm not sure about this. Oh, just kidding. I look fucking amazing. Just kidding. JK, I'm feeling this now. Thank you. I look like Miss America or something. Oh, and my nails, bitch. Hey. Can we talk about the fucking fact that the wind is too much right now? It's really look at this. It's killing the vibe. The Pam Anderson hair is hot. It's like, why do I wear lip gloss? I get stuck in my gloss. <laughs> and I don't want my fucking eyelashes this to fly a, off. This is a great view, though. Uh, downstairs in the casual dining room, we have a big booth. Uh, or there's an outside patio. Uh, Let's see. You want me to ban and wide it for you? Yes, yeah, yeah. We're fancy. Fancy girls and boys. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers to 26. No. No, I mean, I'm here for it. The choker makes it very, like, hot. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy! Oh, that was slick. Did you see that? You should know the word. They're salty. 
Okay, let's get cute pictures right here. For this cute ass fucking wall, bitch. <laughs> the best romance. <laughs> My phone's not working. You just hit I'm just recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fun. Oh, cool. Hi, baby. the truth and that is we have to have three drinks with us at all times one for hydration one because it's our ADHD drink that we will never get rid of and one for energy how are my buttons a TikTok just called me out the other day and they were like at everyone who had childhood trauma how's your very belated teen phase going and I was like Girl, it's going good. Thanks for asking. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. I have some afterthoughts to share with you guys about my birthday because it was kind of like a weird situation that went down right after all the clips that you just saw. As we know, I mentioned in my last video that I have kind of been going through it and I seem to have been finally getting out of the thick of like a really long and difficult healing journey and kind of just addressing my mental health head on and getting into a better place mentally. This year on my birthday, I was able to witness the biggest amount of growth in myself that I have ever witnessed thus far. and. I just wanted to share some of this with you and hopefully ease your mind if you're feeling the same way I was. So basically what happened was kind of annoying and would have probably previously put me into like a spiral, but I didn't. I ended up leaving my phone at the bar after my birthday party. Yes, it was my 26th birthday, not my 21st, not my 18th. Is this a problem all the time? Yes. It's a disorder, get off my dick. It was kind of a blessing in disguise actually, um, <laughs> which is weird because it wasn't like I could just go to the bar the next day and pick it up. The whole place was closed until Monday and Monday was my actual birthday. So I had to wait all day long and I wasn't able to get it till the next day on Tuesday. On my actual birthday, I had no phone. My husband was at work all day and my car was out of commission. So I literally, on my actual birthday, sat at home by myself with no way to contact anyone. Triggering. Listen, I don't like to put myself in a situation where I'm alone with my thoughts because sometimes it can get kind of scary. But I'm trying to force myself to be okay with being alone with my mind because we're gonna have to learn to coexist without sabotaging each other all the time. You know what I mean? All these thoughts are emerging as I'm just chilling by myself, as I'm just hanging out at the house by myself, all of these thoughts come into my head. They just come and go. A lot of them were telling me, wow, you just got over the hump of your 20s. You're on a fast track to 30 now. You have no job. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you have no foundation yet because you've been moving everywhere and you're almost 30 bitch like it was just like all these overwhelming like thoughts telling me that i had missed something or that i was too late 
uh, to do, to follow my dreams or to j just like that I was getting old or that I was a loser because I was just still like losing my shit like a child. And now look at you, you're home by yourself on your birthday. Like it, it just felt like I had all these overwhelming voices in my head just telling me all this horrible shit. And for the first time ever, I was like, stop. Stop. And I tried to pick apart all of those thoughts and ask why. And this was really monumental to me because I had realized that while these thoughts were still passing in my head, the fact of the matter was is that I didn't actually feel that way. And for the first time, I was able to recognize like my thoughts are separate. I don't have to believe everything my head tells me. You can have a passing thought. You can have an intrusive thought. You can have anxious, spinning, twirling thoughts constantly and you don't have to listen to it. Once I realized that I don't actually feel old, if anything, <laughs> my mindset around turning a year older was the most positive that it's ever been. And I almost kind of think it's funny because a lot of people are like really fucked up over turning 30. And 30 is like not old at all. Like 30 is so young. 40 is young, like, I, and like, okay, who cares if you get older? Like, I just like, if I'm being honest with myself, that is how I actually feel about that. And I just noticed how odd it was that my brain is sitting here telling me, no, that's not true. You're old, you're getting old. You're losing value every year. Like, it was just so bizarre that I had this like duality inside of me. It made me realize like in my truest self and in my natural state of being, I don't think all these negative things. Someone had planted those thoughts. That was learned. I don't have to listen to that. Then I spent the entire day painting and I spent the entire day doing pretty much anything I wanted. And that included watching movies and eating snacks and painting the day away. And then there was something beautiful that got made by the end of it. Last year on my 25th birthday, I made this. This piece is called 25. And it's basically representative of how I was feeling last year. I was just feeling totally lost in time and totally derealized and just feeling like Time was up, basically. And that painting is a representation of all of those big feelings. However, this year, I made this. And in a way, this is kind of like a self-portrait, if you will. She is basically identityless right here. You know, she doesn't really know who she is, but she's in this really, beautiful world of color and promise and it's almost like okay that she doesn't know who she is right now because she's finally in like a place where she can safely figure it out and yeah i don't know what this one's called but i made this on my 26th birthday and it feels really special and i just was faced with, oh, oh, I just almost dropped that. <laughs> I was faced with all of this overwhelming gratitude for just making it to another birthday. And I think that was probably made a little bit more intense given that the past couple of years, I had spent most of my time not wanting to be alive. So it was just this like really awesome feeling where I was just like, ah. Oh, there's still so much time and I want my life and I'm so happy to be alive. Like I'm here and it just felt like I can do anything. <laughs> I don't care if it's dramatic. So anyways, 
I hope it's not weird that I shared that with you. It was just really revolutionary information for me to gain at that time where I'm like, oh, my thoughts and my brain is gonna tell me stuff sometimes. And sometimes it's not that nice, but I don't have to listen to it. I get to choose. I get to choose how I feel. And getting old is awesome. And if anybody is telling you to be afraid of turning 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, fuck that, fuck them, you're awesome, it's not too late, and you can do anything that you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have really been enjoying making these, so let me know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, anything you wanna see from me, blah, 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 all the things. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time.